We're back in the air. Oh, yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, 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 okay. <clears throat> Norman was stuck spouting bare bones, but I was singing with dire straits. Try to remember the name of the album. Couldn't. I'm going to ask sometime how to, what department of the state do you Bill, when the certifying department fails, certifying, you know, testing the psychologist and your daughter has traumatic stress disorder and they have her in work release, a patient of traumatic stress disorder. But the last, because there's going to be hours of counseling, obviously, to help her with the damage they're doing right now and somebody's going to have to pay for that. The thing is, it shouldn't be the state, even though they were dumb enough to certify them, they were deceived. I think any, Failing a certification for the state, they shouldn't be responsible for the, uh, the practitioner ought to be responsible for deceiving them, even passing the tests or whatever, and obviously failing your position. Uh, just even though you passed all the tests and qualified, doesn't mean you're certifiable. After a few years of practice, as far as I'm concerned, they ought to sneak somebody in there with a, um, a put on illness and see how you handle it. Just to test you. That would be a test. But the state has to perform with every certified individual once every so many years. Um, a few of playing dumb and going in and see if you can trick the practitioner and see how they handle it. Just to test them. That would be keeping your certification in line because you don't know whether you got fooled by any of these people or not. And obviously some of them you can. My daughter is a victim of some of that, that's for sure. And I would rather not sue the state. I hold the state very liable for citizen contribution, so I don't want to take it from that. I, mean, I certainly like to hold a practitioner liable and take everything he's got, I mean, especially when he brags on he makes $300 an hour and disdains people in his office with traumatic stress disorder. Or somebody in my daughter's case, which is an obvious case of someone jading her, but good. Actually, the circuit, the way, you know, most people here have been jaded by the way the cookie crumbles. Say the society didn't do anything wrong. Nobody ever hurt you. The way the cookie crumbles. When and if, everybody is pricelessly lovely here. There is no bad mood ever. The way the cookie's crumbling, facing everyone pulling as strong as they can together and everyone in a great mood, that's enough to give any tra traumatic stress disorder. Just the ambient cookie crumbling of what this planet faces. Something trying to eat it. Here. You think this planet is in a caustic environment? Do you? You think this is a caustic environment to this globe. Very, very contrasting. This and this. Extreme contrast. Do you think? And this very vulnerable. A hologram in here. Do you think that could be going on as a little scenario? And then how would you respond finding yourself a member of that as part of the skin? Ah. What would that storyline in your mind, everybody's mind, what do you think the knee-jerk reaction to that would be? Mammals, understanding their ambiency and very ambient described terms to themselves, each one clearly, not tested, understood. <clears throat> Is there a difference? just make a few remarks to some of these people tested and certified coming out of class how much understanding do they have of the subject for example facing the subject I found my understanding mm -hmm. how, how many humans like we brought up the paper I'll get the paper in a minute understand the function of their government even the ones functioning in it. How many? Isn't that why so many humans employed within the government staff get to take advantage because 
a lot of humans functioning within the government staff responsible have no clue of how it works. So they're vulnerable to get taken advantage of, aren't they? And the main guy, the citizen, completely ignorant of its position, stomping around with a stick looking like a, as the expression goes, goddamn fool, causing trouble everywhere. The failing citizen in the Middle East. Look at him! Said the last remaining Hebrew monarch. Just look at him! As far as I'm concerned, Father Pharaoh, I'll tell you, if a Jew calls anything Father, it's Pharaoh. What a bet. And certainly not God. My relationship with my God is not Father. It's friend, if anything. It ain't Father. The position of God and the position of Father are two far different things. Know it. Absolutely. To anybody having a relationship with God, knows full well that. Pharaoh for matches not the position of God. This matches the position of God caring. This caring. God. And only that. That's the only position of God. These pair of hands caring. God. And you don't have that, you don't have God. Do you understand me? You can use your mind and unless it falls into this doing the dishes what the hell good is it? Hmm. Changing the diaper. Nurturing. This isn't nurturing. Don't tell me you got God. Because you don't. Said Pharaoh. Said Joseph. And they shook on it. Want a bet? And faced it. And Joseph's family should not have ever got pulled along. But the problem, you're brutal. You bet I am. Get the hell out of here. And then cry in the back room. Tough decision. Really tough one. Boo hoo hoo. Get out. Brutal. Mm -hmm. Like stomping a deformed colt on the, st on the floor of the prairie. Pound, pound, pound. I'm brutal. I'm Joseph, I'm brutal. I know good and well what happened to me. I ain't gonna make that mistake twice, am I? Hmm? Did John the Baptist make it? Get out of the pool. <laughs> out! <laughs> John didn't make it twice, and we didn't. It was the same family who came without fruit of repentance. Get out. You show up without fruit of repentance. Get out! I wasn't able to get baptized without fruit of repentance. I was submerged as a child. When I went for submission, uh, submission, <laughs> submersion, I gave testimony and spent time showing fruit of repentance. Which to the day is the same fruit. What about it? It ain't no different. And I thank God. And it wasn't those people that brought it out of me. No, it was my experience with God. And I got to lean in on the church too much, which now I realize that is what a church is. I didn't really make a mistake in that. I, I was with a typical church. And I have to learn to tolerate that. And it's tough to tolerate. Paul had a tough time with it, that's for sure. He sure did. Same thing I had a tough time with. The Apostle Paul did. Mm -hmm. And Peter really liked to fan it. Yeah, he did. Better get going here. I wonder if I'm still broadcasting. <laughs> well, if this thing is off, I don't know what's going on. To the truth. Let's see. Here, it's on. Let's stop recording. We'll stop it. I'll be back. No, you didn't stop.